Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to target your glutes on the adductor. So instead of doing it normally, sitting back, you're going to lean forward and then this will put all the tension on the side of your glutes, working the minimus of our glutes. Instead of sitting back, this will be working more so the side of our legs. Here's a quick form tip for inclined press. So rather than having your, your elbows flare out, we're going to keep them in so you can target your inner chest more and it's safer on your joints. Hi guys, so today I wanted to share with you two of my favorite uh, back ideas with Greek yogurt. So the first one we have here is a high protein Greek yogurt bowl. So this is 41 grams of protein, so it's probably my go-to to hit that protein goal of the day. And to add some extra sweetness, I just like to drizzle honey right over the top there and it just hits the spot. And we also have one where it's great if you're on a cut because it's really low calorie at only 220 calories. The chia seeds are great because they're an antioxidant, so that's really good to have in your diet. Let me know which one guys want to try. My favorite chest exercise is the Smith machine. It's easier than dumbbells to really load up weight. So if you're doing like 100 pound dumbbells, the setup is fairly challenging before you even get into this. This you can really load up the weight to start off your workout. Um, and it's easier than having to haul up that weight with dumbbells. Uh, it's also very versatile. My lower pec is bugging me a bit. So I can set this up with this kind of seat and turn it into a mostly upper chest exercise uh, to kind of work around the injury. Um, so in that way, it's a little more versatile than like some of the machines are good and easy to load up the weight, but they're pretty locked in. Here you can adjust the uh, seat you're using, vary the incline. All those machines, your hands might be locked into one particular width. Here you can play around with different widths, find one that uh, feels the best on your joints. And then lastly, why the Smith's better than, for instance, just like a barbell press uh, would be with this, you can push yourself to failure without a spotter because if you fail, it's pretty easy to just do that and wriggle out of it versus if a barbell comes down on you, you might get trapped. So really easy to push yourself to failure even when you're working out by yourself. Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to set the right seat height on the chest press machine here. So right here, I have the seat way too high. Ideally on this machine, we want our hands around chest height. And so my hands are way too low in this position. Okay, so now my seat is way too low and my hands are gonna be way too high. Again, we want it at that chest height. So this is way too low. And now I'm at the perfect height where it's in line with my chest and I'm gonna be targeting my chest muscles as best as I can. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do glute medius kickbacks to target the upper part of our glutes to grow that shelf look. So when you do these, you want to take a step back, get attention on the cable. You want to keep your body as upright as possible to really target the upper part of our glutes. You're going to slightly turn your toes out as far back as you can, keeping your legs straight, and slightly pulling back to the side, not pulling straight back. You should be feeling the tension right in the upper front there. We don't want to be leaning over too much because as soon as we lean over, then we'll be targeting more of the glute max. So to get that shelf look, we really want to stay upright. So when you're structuring your tricep workout, the main thing you want to make sure is you have a balance of exercises with your arms over your head like that, and then exercises like press downs, dips, even kickbacks, because the overhead ones, those are going to target the long head of the tricep, like overhead tricep extensions, and then the ones like the rope press downs, 
That's going to target more like the lateral head or the horseshoe head of the triceps. So as long as you've got a good mix of those two, you're going to have a balanced tricep workout. So today I wanted to show you one of my favorite snacks for what I'm on a cut. It's so simple to make. It's a Greek yogurt ranch dip and then I dip it with you know, any veggies, you know, broccoli, carrots, cucumber, honestly they're all amazing. The dip is so easy to make. It's just Greek yogurt, uh, dill, garlic powder, and onion powder. You just mix it all together and you know, it's high in protein and low calories because instead of using, say, like crackers or something that has carbs as a dip, you're going to use the carrots. So it's perfect. So good. Today I'm going to teach you how to find your proper footing for a squat. Some people are more wide, some people are more narrow, some people have feet pointed out in. It all depends on your personal preference and how your bone structure lays. So, Mine's more wide, toes pointed out. Let's go down here. Uh. Now the trick kind of looks weird, but it does work. I've tried it on myself and I know others who have. So you just lay on your back, your knees to your chest as far as you can. And then just let your feet fall naturally. And as you can see, my feet were in the same position that I did that squat. So mine's more wide and always pointed out. So that's just a good little trick if you're feeling pain in your back or squatting is uncomfortable. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to set up for the leg extension. So first things first, I like to adjust the foot pad. 
So I personally don't like it set too far away because this way we won't get as much of a range of motion. I like to set it in as close as I can to get the most length I can on my quads. And we're adjusting the foot pad. We don't want it set too high on our ankles because it might be uncomfortable and it might hurt your knees. And then we also don't want the foot pad set too low on our feet because then that's gonna be super bad on our ankles. We want it set just at the right height. That's, it's gonna sit right in front of our ankles and it'll be the most comfortable position for us. And then setting the back pad here, we don't want it too far back that we're basically laying down. And we also don't want it too forward that our knees are hanging off because then we're gonna hurt our knees. We want it just the right length that it is, fits right under our knees and is the full length of our legs and our, the back of our butt should be touching the path. And then you're ready to go. You don't wanna be rushing through it, swinging it super fast. That's not what we want. We wanna slow down the motion and almost do kind of a pause at the top. Doing this, so you get the most benefit out of the exercise. So today, me and Georgia are gonna be making egg bites for you guys. These are super high in protein. It's 67 grams of protein in the entire recipe. And then for every bite, you're gonna have about 7.4 grams, depending on how big the bites are. This is a super easy meal prep idea. You can do it at the beginning of the week to have your set breakfast for the day or bring them as a snack on the go. The meal makes about nine bites. Uh, you can also double the recipe to make more. Um, the recipe consists of six eggs, half a cup of mushrooms, some salt and pepper to taste, half a red bell pepper, some uh, quarter cup of cheddar cheese, and a cup of cottage cheese. The cottage cheese in the eggs is really what adds this protein. So if you want to increase that protein in it, you could just add in a bit more cottage cheese and you would get even more protein. Let me know what you guys think after you try this recipe. So first things first, instead of setting the bench up completely straight up, you want it set just slightly back at an angle. This will take some ease off of your back and also put more tension on your shoulders. And then as soon as you go into it, you want to bring your elbows slightly forward towards the, the mirror there. This will also add more tension on your shoulders. And then when you push up, you also don't risk your arm going back as much, which will also be better for not hurting your 